Sleep is the best medicine. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's episode of 7 Good Minutes, in our Wellness Wednesday segment, our friend Dr. Gus talks with us about foods that help with insomnia. Enjoy. If you're not sleeping well every night, let me tell you that sleep deprivation can cause major health issues. New scientific evidence has found a link between poor quality sleep and diseases, including diabetes, heart disease, obesity, and even depression. One of the most important factors most of us never consider is how foods can have an effect on our sleep in many more ways than we can imagine. What we eat has a direct impact on our quality sleep. A steak, for example, will probably keep us awake for hours. And lettuce, on the other hand, may help us relax and enjoy the pleasure of falling asleep in no time. Have you ever used foods to relax? Believe it or not, foods are some of the most effective tools we can use at home to modulate our emotions and sleep every single night. For example, black pepper is known for its aphrodisiac characteristics. Dark chocolate improves mood and helps regulate monthly hormone changes in women. And bananas, especially banana peels, contain tryptophan, a substance that improves relaxation and calmness and favors a good night's sleep. Now, a good question would be, what are some of the best foods we can eat every single night before going to bed? And what foods favor our rest and regeneration in our entire body? So in today's video, I'll reveal seven of the best foods you should be consuming before going to bed every single night in order to relax and enjoy some quality sleep naturally and effectively. Number one, chamomile tea. Chamomile tea is a popular herbal tea that offers a variety of health benefits for the human body. But the truth is that chamomile tea is well known for its apigenine content. This antioxidant binds to certain receptors in our brains that promote sleepiness and reduce insomnia. In one study with 34 adults, researchers found that those who consumed 270 milligrams of chamomile extract twice a day for 28 days fell asleep 15 minutes faster than people who did not take this supplement as a supplement form. Another study found that women who drank chamomile tea for two weeks reported an improved sleep quality compared to non-tree drinkers. On top of this, those who drank chamomile tea also had fewer symptoms of depression, which is commonly associated with sleep problems in people who suffer from insomnia. Drinking chamomile tea before going to bed is certainly worth trying, especially if you want to improve that quality of your sleep every single night. Very effective and very cost effective. Number two, lettuce tea. Salads might not be a traditional bedtime snack, but let me tell you that it's surprisingly effective for anyone who's trying to sleep better every night. Now, curiously enough, this is true because lettuce, especially romaine lettuce, contains a phytonutrient called lactocarium, which is said to induce sleep, relieve pain, and promote relaxation. And the truth is that any food that has a lighter consistency to it, especially salads, help out a lot when it comes to sleep. What's even more effective than lettuce by itself is lettuce tea. And preparing it as a tea extract contains magnesium and higher amounts of lactocarium, two compounds that induce sleep a lot faster. So if munching on salad before bedtime is not appealing to you, you can always try brewing some lettuce tea before bedtime. It's incredibly effective, especially on some individuals, depending on their stress or stressful situations during the day. Very effective and very easy to make, so give it a try. Number three, turkey. This might come as a surprise to you, but turkey can really help us before bedtime. You see, turkey meat has a few properties that explain why some people become tired after eating it. It encourages sleepiness, most notably because it contains the amino acid tryptophan, a precursor to serotonin and melatonin, both of which induce sleep and quality rest at night. 
Now that's not all because turkey is also very delicious and nutritious to take before bedtime. It's high in protein, for example, providing almost 8 grams of protein per ounce of serving. This type of protein is important for keeping your muscles strong and regulating your appetite during the night. Turkey may also contribute to the ability to promote tiredness in the body. There's evidence even that consuming moderate amounts of protein before bedtime is associated with better quality sleep, including less waking up through the night. So again, very helpful turkey meat or even turkey ham. Number four, white rice. White rice is a grain that's widely consumed as a staple food in many countries. The major difference between white and brown rice is that white rice has had that bran or germ removed from this grain. This obviously makes it lower in fiber, nutrients, and antioxidants. Now, although it may be less nutritious than brown rice, white rice has been seen to improve sleep quality in every single individual that takes it before going to bed. For example, it's been suggested that eating foods with a high glycemic index, such as white rice, at least one hour before going to bed, may help improve sleep quality due to the glucose content in it. One study compared sleep habits in 2,000 people based on their intake of rice and discovered that a higher rice intake was associated with better sleep patterns, including a longer sleep duration. This apparently has to do with that blood glucose concentration after eating it every night. Our brains work better, a lot better, when they have enough sugar to fuel during the sleep or during sleep at night. And this might explain why people who go to bed at night without having something to eat have a harder time resting or waking up full of energy the next morning. Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled View the Full Video on YouTube in the show notes. So that does it for this episode of 7 Good Minutes. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.